بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد We continue in our series introducing great imams of the Quran the preservers of the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us such that we are able to recite and communicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now we move on in this in this clip to perhaps the most important of all of them for us Imam number 5 his name is Asim Asim ibn Abi Najud Asim ibn Abi Najud commonly just referred to as Asim why he's so important the vast majority of the world now reads the Quran based upon his transmission of the Quran from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam He took from many teachers Asim the main two Abu Abdurrahman As-Sulami and Zir ibn Hubaysh and they took from the leading companions who took from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who received from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So Asim he is he is the preserver of the Quran for the majority of the Muslims He was a noble tabi'i from the second generation because he met companions but his reading the Quran was not upon the companion he didn't read it he read he read it to students he read it to students of the companions and as with all of these great imams of the Quran they had a unique special relationship with the Quran such that <clears throat> Asim he was known as a staff a stick planted in the ground because when he would read the Quran he was completely still standing for lengthy periods of time reading the Quran in prayer without moving it is mentioned about Asim in his biographies اذا صلى ينتصب كانه عود when he'd pray he'd stand as though he's a stick that doesn't move and he would stay in the masjid on juma from fajr up until asr just reading the Quran from fajr all the way till asr just reading the quran and on normal days when he's out and about and he needs to go and buy something from the market or from a shop as he's walking if he sees a masjid he forgets about that and he says hajatuna la tanqata our needs what we need will never come to an end he just goes in the masjid allahu akbar He had a special devotion and attachment in his heart to the masjid, to prayer, and to reciting the Quran. He spent all of his life teaching the Quran. But it's reported that for two years he felt so sick that he was not able, almost like a coma, that he was out of it completely. But when he recovered, he hadn't forgotten even one word of the Quran. The Quran became part, became part of him, and that's why further it's mentioned about Asim that when one of his students Shu'ba, he said, "I came to visit him at the moment he was dying, his last moments, and he was going out in and out of states of consciousness. He was fainting, and then he was coming back." He said. after he faints and he becomes conscious again then he reads thumma ruddu ila allahi mawlahum alhaq he reads the verse then they will all be returned back to their master allah their master the real and he said even though he was just coming out of fainting he said he read it so perfectly that then i knew that the quran had become part had become part of him he died in the year 127 after hijra he had met two main students shu'ba ibn ayyash shu'ba the first of his two students who studied the quran over a lengthy period of time with his teacher asim shu'ba from ahl al-quran ahl allah the people of the quran the people of allah it's reported about him 40 years he never slept at night for 40 years he never slept at night the whole night allah akbar in prayer 
He had a special relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From those that Allah describes, تَتَجَافَى جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعَ People who give up their sleep at night, calling upon their Lord, praying to their Lord. He's from Ahlullah, the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's related as one of his karamat, one of the miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him. That Shu'bah himself, he said, I came one night to Zamzam. And Zamzam water is as pure as you get. The, the healing water. He said, I pulled out a bucket and instead of water, he said, what came out was milk and honey. Instead of water coming out of Zamzam, he said, I pulled out a bucket, what came out was milk and honey. The second of the two narrators who transmits the Quran from Asim, Hafs ibn Sulaiman. And he's significant for us. Because when we say the majority of the Muslim world now reads the Quran based upon the transmission of Asim, it's Hafs from Asim. Hafs from Asim. Hafs is also significant because he was the stepson of Asim. So he reads the Quran for a lengthy period of time with Asim until he becomes the main transmitter of the Quran for Asim from Asim. And that's what the majority of the Muslims, they recite the Qur'an based upon. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.